Find the curve's unit tangent vector and the length of the indicated portion of the curve. So you have a function right here and you have a portion right here. We're going to begin by finding the unit tangent. So unit tangent is equal to the velocity over the magnitude of the velocity. And to find the velocity, you just find the derivative of the function. So derivative of 10 cosine 3, 10 cosine cubed t is u times this with this. So 30 cosine minus 1 from here, 2 t times derivative of cosine is negative sine t j plus same thing here 30 sine 2 t derivative of sine is cosine t k we can simplify this so bring the negative in front you have 30 negative 30 cosine squared t times sine t j plus 30 sine squared t cosine t k. Now we want to find the magnitude, which to find the magnitude of the velocity vector, you just square root the values squared. So negative 30 cosine squared t sine t squared plus 30 sine squared t cosine t squared. Now, we can take the square root of 30 so that we don't have to square it anymore. So, do this for both. So you have square root of 30 is 900. Okay. Cosine squared t sine t squared plus 900 sine squared t cosine t squared. Okay, so it'll look like this. Then you can factor out 900. So you have 900, okay, cosine squared t sine t squared plus sine 2 squared t cosine t squared. After that, you will be able to take out, factor out sine t um factor out sine t and cosine t so put it together with the 900 you have 900 sine t sine squared t because make sure that you square this value before you take it out sine squared t cosine squared t and inside here you have cosine squared t plus sine squared t okay squared and if you remember your trigonometric identities you will know that cosine two cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to one so this is equal to one and one squared is one so you are left with one nine hundred sine squared t cosine squared t times one which is same as nine hundred sine squared t cosine squared t Okay, so if you um, simplify this, you have square root of 900 is 30, and square root of anything squared is the original value, so you have sine t, cosine t. This is your magnitude of the velocity vector. So now we could plug it into the formula for finding unit tangent and then find the unit tangent. So... Let's erase this so we have more space. Okay, so if this is the velocity vector, and this is the magnitude of the velocity, to find the unit tangent, you just have to divide by the magnitude. So you have 30 sine t cosine t. Do it for both sides. 
Now, we can simplify this. So 30 and 30 crosses out. Sine t, sine t crosses out. And with cosine t, you can cross the bottom one out and cross one of the top ones out, okay? 30, 30 cross out, cosine, cosine cross out. With sine, cross the bottom one out, leave one bottom, one top one. Okay, so you are left with negative cosine t j plus sine t k. This is your unit tangent vector. Okay, now let's move on to finding the length. To find the length, you could plug it into the arc length formula, which arc length formula is the magnitude, the integral of the magnitude of the velocity vector, so from point B to point A. And we know that t is less than zero no t is greater than zero less than pi over four so b would be pi over four zero would be here would be a and t um not t the magnitude of the velocity vector would be what we found just now what i erased just now which is 30 sine t cosine t so this would be the magnitude of the velocity vector. So you want to find the integral of this from here to here. And to do that, you want to do u substitution. So u is equal to sine, okay? And du will be equal to cosine. And we can move the 30 out of the integral for now. Take 30 out, put it here, okay? now we only have this to worry about so if we plug in u for sine and du for cosine dt over here you would have u du okay and now you just have to find the integral of this so it makes it much easier and to find the integral of this you are going to do U, and then there is an imaginary 1 right here. So 1 plus 1 is 2 over 1 plus 1 is 2. So this would be 30 u2 over 2 from pi over 4 to 0. Okay. So this would be your integrated value. Now, we still have u right here. We want to plug it back. So to plug it back, simply plug it back. So you do sine t. These, these have t's, by the way. So sine t squared which sine t squared same thing as sine squared t over 2 from pi over 4 to 0 and we can simplify this so 30 divided by 2 is 15 sine squared t from pi over 4 to 0 okay now all we need to do is find this so you have 15 sine 2 pi over 4, okay, minus 15 sine 2, 0. Okay, we can erase this. And all you need to do now is to plug it into a calculator. So 15 sine pi over 4 but there's two uh there's a squared right here so you're going to square this sign like this minus 
15 sine 0 okay you then get 15 over 2 so the length of the curve will be 15 over 2 units.